What you're seeing right now is ChatGPT running locally on my PC, answering questions without needing an internet connection. That's right, it's fully functional offline. In this guide, I'll teach you step by step how to install and set it up on a Windows PC. So stay tuned. First, head over to my Facebook group page and join. Look for the post about this setup and click on it. This will take you to the Olima website, where we'll get the tools we need. On the Olima website, download the installer for Windows. Once the download is complete, double-click the file to start the installation. Follow the prompts and wait for it to finish. Note, after installation, you won't find a shortcut or graphical interface for Olima. Don't worry, it's designed to work through the command prompt, CMD, which we'll use in the next steps. After the installation, go back to the Alama website and click on the Models tab. Here, you'll find a list of AI models to choose from. For this tutorial, I'll select the Llama 3.2 model. You'll also need to decide the model size, 1 billion parameters, lighter and faster but slightly less powerful, 3 billion parameters, smarter but heavier and requires more resources. For this example, I'll go with the 1 billion parameter version. Once you've selected your model and parameters, you'll see a code snippet provided on the Alama website. Copy this code. Now, open the command prompt or press Windows plus S and type CMD in the search bar. Click on command prompt to launch it. In the CMD window, paste the code you copied earlier and press enter. The system will start downloading the model. This might take a while depending on your internet speed, especially if it's your first time running it. Once the download is complete, the model is ready to use. You can now start chatting with it directly from the command prompt, fully offline. If you want an easy way to launch the model with a single click, here's how to create a desktop shortcut. Step 1. Create a batch file. Right-click anywhere on your desktop, select New, and then choose Text Document. Open the new text document and paste the code you copied earlier from the Olima website. Step 2. Save the file as a batch file. Click File at the top, then select Save As. Choose a name for your file, but make sure to add .bat at the end, chatgpt.bat. This step is crucial because the file won't work without the .bat extension. Then click Save. Step 3. Replace the text file with the batch file closed notepad and delete the original text document. You'll now see the .bat file you created on your desktop. Right-click the batch file and select Create Shortcut. A new shortcut will appear on your desktop. Right-click the shortcut and select Properties. In the Shortcut tab, click the Change icon button. If a warning message pops up, click OK to proceed. Click Browse to locate the icon file you want to use. It must be in ICA format. Select your desired icon, click Open, then click OK and Apply. Step 5. Hide the original batch file. You can now hide the .bat file to keep your desktop clean, but do not delete it. The shortcut depends on it to work. Now, simply click the new icon to launch your offline chat GPT with ease. That's it! Follow these steps and you'll have your own local chat GPT up and running on Windows. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. You can also join and share your ideas in MCA Tech group page. Thanks for watching and see you.